Kenya Police Force. Okay. What do you make of that, deploying police officers? Of course, at the moment, according to the economic survey of 2023, we have about 109,000 uh, police officers, of course, split between women and men. And that's a rate of about one police officer to the rate, of, I mean, to 455 in terms of the population. Mm -hmm. Are we at that point to afford diplomatic generosity of this magnitude? No, we are not. The, the truth for the matter is, I mean, even if you look at the UN report, and I'm sure uh, Mushimua Nelson can confirm this, we are below uh, the, um, the expected ratio in terms of police vis-a-vis -vis the public. Mm -hmm. So we, we are not. So I don't think this is a service as, as a country that we can afford. Um, I mean, I come from Capedo. I mean, let, let's localize this uh, yeah. discussion. Yeah. I come from Capedo. And in Capedo, we have serious insecurity issues every day. People are being killed every other day. Uh, and we still do not see the intervention from our police, from our security uh, forces. So I think this is an ill-advised decision. Uh, and it's unfortunate that the president is being used by the U.S., um, to try to look like, you know, this, this, this thing about Pan-Africa. You're so firm on being used by the U.S. Yes. How so? How do you know that? Because, you know, you ask the question, even Johanna could not explain, uh, could not answer that question. Who actually has made this demand? It's the U.S. that has made this demand. And they, they, have, they have found uh, an, an easy person in the president of William Ruto to use him uh, so that, I mean, and, and if you look at the context of Kenya, Kenya is not, does not even have the capacity, to be honest with you, uh, to fix. Our Kenyan police are so used to running battles with stone throwers, uh, you know, demonstrators and all that, you know, not with gangs like the ones we know in, 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 in Haiti. Guys who have killed five presidents so far, killed a president in a palace, you know, the last president they killed, you know, in a palace. So this is not going to be a walk in the park. And, and if you look at uh, our capacity and, uh, you know, capability to do this, we are not able to do it. And, and to be honest with you, if, I, if, if you ask me as a Kenyan citizen, is this a service that we can afford mm -hmm. to export? We need that service back home. And the truth for the matter is, Kenya is being used. And I go back to the history of the United States of America and France invading any country. They always leave those countries in a mess. Okay. You know? Oh. And, and, and they have to look for somebody to clean up that mess. I don't think Kenya, Kenya does not need to go into Haiti. Oh, all right. I, I, and I, 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 tried to, I struggled very much to listen to what uh, uh, C.S. Uh, Mutua said. I mean, he talks of God's will, that we are going to do God's will in Haiti. I mean. Joanna, help us understand <clears throat> what the Kenya police will be facing in Haiti. 